welcome back to Astonishing Studios. Today, we reveal how to build mini working vending machines. To operate, a customer inserts a coin into the coin slot and pulls out this dark gray bar to reveal either a Kit Kat mini, a Snickers bite, or a Twix bite. The mechanism is universal for all three, and you can also easily alternate this design by pulling off the front panel and the top banner and replacing it with either the Twix or the Snickers one. Feel free to test this out with other local candies that you have, but we discovered that these three international brands and the mini chocolates work perfectly with the creation. Before we get any further into the video, make sure to purchase a Lego classic brick box for many of the pieces used in this creation, or check out the description for other methods to acquire parts used in this machine. And let's then proceed to the operation and then reveal the tutorial. Let's start by building the Kit Kat design. So I will build it in red pieces. If you're doing the Twix machine, make sure any red piece I put down, you put down in yellow or Snickers, make sure your pieces are blue. So here we've started with two of this element. It's a one by six plate. And on top we have four one by one by two thirds slopes all in the center. Make sure they face opposite directions and put them to the side for a moment. Then you're going to build this. It's a two by three plate topped with four two by one curves. You're going to build two more of that. Make sure the two by three plates are black, although it doesn't really matter. I just did it to vary up the color and unite them all together with a one by six plate. Now you can connect all three together in the bottom corner of this curved piece. And now put a two by one curve on either side of the black plate. Now take a one by three plate and top it with a one by one tile and click it on over here. Now take a one by six brick and top it with a one by one plate and put it on this side. And then on the other side, we're going to do something a little bit different. Take a one by six plate and then put on a one by two brick on the bottom of that. Click that on over here. Let's move this aside. Now we have a two by three plate topped with a one by two tile and on each of these studded areas, you're going to put on a two by one curve. So that means four. Now it's time for the decals. There's a link in the description for all three machines decals. So I printed out the ones for the Kit Kat, put the Kit Kat top banner here, center it, and then we can move this aside and then start putting on this decal. Make sure to cut out this area so we can have the candy actually come out. Whatever we build from here will be the exact same for the Kit Kat, Twix, and Snickers machines. Let's bring the previous piece back into play. Now we're going to put the decals onto these two pieces. Down in the description, I have a link to download all three decals or all three types of decals for all three machines. So Snickers, Twix, Kit Kat. I printed the Kit Kat. We're going to put the first sticker on this small piece and then the larger sticker on this larger piece. It's hard to get it on. I'm gonna do a quick and less clean job. So it's gonna be a little bit sloppy. Yeah, that, that should suffice for now. And then we're going to move these aside and every single piece we build from here is going to be the exact same for each candy. Here we've started with four pieces, a two by three plate, a one by six plate with a one by one plate on top and a four by six plate. Now let's put on a one by six plate topped with a six by one curve and use it to unite all the pieces together. And then we're going to build something similar, but we're going to take a two by six plate to connect two six by one curves together. And then we're going to put it right next to that one by six curve. Then on this one by one plate, take this one by one brick with a hole on the side or a stud on the side, put it over here, build this piece. It's a one by two plate, a one by three plate and connect them together with a one by two tile and two two by two tiles. Put that over here, build this three piece element. It's a two by two plate on top of it, a two by two brick. And on top of that, a two by two plate. Put that over here, put down two two by two corner plates. And on top of those plates, put on a two by two tile or a two by two plate and a one by two plate. Now you need a two by two brick and top it in one corner with a one by one by two thirds slope. Put that over here, then take a one by one brick with a stud on the side, put that here. 
On top of that, put on a one by two tile. And then on that side stud, you're going to put in a one by one black brick. Now cover the studs of each six by one curve with a two by one slope with a two thirds cutout. And on the back over here, we're going to put on a one by three black plate. Let's rotate this around and we're actually going to build layers of bricks on this studded area. So that's four pieces for the first layer. And let's build another layer on top. The final layer is three pieces, a one by three brick, a two by four brick, and then a one by four brick. Now put on three tiles. Let's build two layers of black bricks. Let's move this aside and start building the candy dispensing area. The easiest way to demonstrate how to build this is to build a bunch of two piece portions and then combine them all together. So here I've started with a one by three plate and on top of that I put on a one by four brick. Then take another one by three plate and then put on a one by three brick on top of it offset by one connect these two elements. Now take a one by two plate, top it with a one by one brick with the side stud, connect this. Take two round one by one dark gray plates and connect them to the side stud. To those round one by one plates, you're going to put on a round one by one brick and then a one by one by two thirds slope, connect it like this. And note that this slope is facing inwards to this black area. Now take a one by three plate and top it with a two by one slope and then we're actually going to move this into a shot actually, and then take a one by three tile, connect it to this area, and then connect that to the one by one brick with the side stud and then this other black piece. Now let's rotate this around and connect this one by four brick and this one by three brick with a one by two tile. Now let's move this aside. Now bring the old part back into shot and just wiggle in the dispenser right over here. Put on a one by six plate, to get that in focus, topped with a one by one by two thirds slope and wiggle it over here. So it should be like this. Now take a one by one black plate right over here, top it with a one by one brick with a central hole and then top that with a one by one black plate again. Then you're going to take one of these double connectors. One side is an axle, the other side is a round pin. And then on the axle side, you're going to put in a half long bushing, click it over here Put that down for a second. Build this, it's a four stud long Technic half beam with something sticking out, the specific name is on the screen now. And we have put in a two stud long red axle with one stud facing through one side, half a stud of axle facing through the other. Let's hold it like this. And then let's take another one of those blue round slash axle connectors and put the axle end through here. So now we have this. Let's bring over that earlier piece flip it around and you're going to assemble it just like so. Now let's rotate this and put it over here onto the one by six plate. We're going to secure it in better in a little bit. Now take another one by one brick with the side stud and top it with a one by two brick and click it on over here on top. And as you can see, I slightly messed up. I moved this piece out to make sure that stays in. Now take a two by four plate and on the side put on a one by two tile and you're going to clip this on to the lower corner stud of the plate. Now let's build a layer of bricks and I'll guide you through so it's not too confusing. We're going to have a one by two brick and on top of that put on a one by one by two thirds slope. Place it on top over here. Rotate this around a little bit. Put on a one by four brick. Now a two by six a one by one, that mechanism Technic piece. Now we're going to take our one by three brick over here and put it on right on top. Therefore, there should be a one stud area of no brick. Now let's rotate this to this side and we're going to build a one by seven brick with a one by four and a one by three. Now rotate it again, take a one by two plate and top it with two one by three plates. Put it over here. Now put on a one by three and a one by two. Now put on a two by four brick. 
a 1x2 brick, a 1x4 brick, and another 1x2 brick. Now it's time to build our last final full brick layer. Start with a 1x4, then a 1x2, 2x6. On the inside over here, we're going to put on a 1x2 brick, then a 1x4 brick, then another 1x4 and a 1x3. On the border, let's put on a layer of plates. Now let's put on a one by one plate and a one by six plate. And on these two areas, put on two one by six tiles. In this back area, we are going to start off with, first of all, a one by three plate. And on the top, put on three one by two or two by one curves. Put the first one here and we're going to similarly take a one by four plate and top it with four two by one curves. As we rotate this around, we're going to build another part. You're going to put on a four by six plate and then a one by four plate. And on each of these outside studs, you probably guessed that we're going to put on a two by one curve. So that means we need seven more curves. Now on this studded area over here, we're going to put on some tiles. Let's start off with a two by two a one by six, and then two one by twos. Now we have seven studs uncovered. Of that, there's a two by three area. And over there, we're going to first of all, take a one by two brick with a swiveling top. And then on the bottom, put on two round one by one plates and click that on over here. I usually find it best to actually remove the top and then click that on. And while this is off, let's take our top banner that we built at the beginning of the video, click it on over here, rotate it around, and now that looks really cool. So let's click it on on top. Had a small piece slide out. It's that dark gray bar, let's put that back on. Now, let's actually put on a sticker that we didn't put on earlier. You might have noticed that there's a dial pad in the printout for decals. Put that on over here. It's not actually functional, it just gives it that vending machine ambiance, which is very cool. Now take this big part with a big decal on it and slide it on over here. Make sure you click it on on this side, the right side, and then the left side a little bit and just make sure it clicks on a little bit at the top as well. As you can tell from the hole over here, we need to build the coin bank. So we have the two by three plate topped with a one by two brick. And then we are going to take a two by two plate topped with a one by four brick. Click these two parts together. Now take a one by two brick a one by three brick and top it with a one by four tile. Click that over here, rotate this around. Then we need a one by one brick topped with a one by two plate. Click that on over here and then we are going to slide in the coin bank. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at astonishingstudios at gmail.com. We actually respond to our fans unlike most YouTubers, but please don't reach out to us in the comments. It's very hard to navigate through those. Once again, if you did not build this machine, consider buying a Lego Classic Brick Box. The link to that is in the description. And also look in the description for more methods on how to acquire pieces used in this machine. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you with a future video.